Hello and welcome to another video of the MES tool release highlights now for the fall 2021 release. And today we are going to have a look at the MES quality commander and I have Bjorn here with me from the MQC team. Hello Bjorn. Hi Jan. So the current version is the MES quality commander version 5.2 and there has been a lot of uh, going on. And um, we are going to look firstly into um, a feature that makes it easier to deal, uh, especially for, with large projects that have a large artifact number or artifact structure. And we are looking into the aggregation of artifact structure levels. And also we are going to have a look into sorting and searching um, features for the KPI visualizations, which also help you to keep a better overview. And also there were some general improvements and we are going to have a look into these now. So Bjorn, would you like to share screen and show us a little bit more about these features? Yes, thank you, Jan. Let me share my screen. Just tell me when you can see something. Perfect. Okay, um, what you can see now is uh, our maybe meanwhile quite well-known showcase uh, consisting of uh, these four artifacts, uh, a couple of quality properties defined in the quality model that we are using here. So what you can see is the list of artifacts in the left-hand KPI chart. And besides this list, there is the list of quality properties, as I said. Um, and then in the main visualization, you have uh, a matrix that shows the current quality per artifact per quality property. And uh, with this, you can use the KPIs to deep dive into the project details by selecting or marking one or multiple items, um, which again changes then the things that uh, are shown in the main visualization. That's the way to use MQC and to work with MQC. As Jan already said, the problem, imagine there are not just four artifacts, but hundreds of artifacts. So this list here in the KPI chart may be quite huge. So it is really hard then to keep an overview and uh, especially to find a specific item in this list. Um, with the previous versions of MQC, we already supported to add a structure for the artifacts. Means um, you could already group artifacts, uh, for instance, according to responsible teams or according to a larger software components, uh, each of the components consisting of multiple artifacts. And um, previously, uh, this could be used in the filter panel that you can see here on the right hand side. So we have here the filter panel for the artifact structure and for instance here for the quality model uh, which could be used then to search and to filter for specific items for instance filter for artifacts and now with the 5.2 mqc offers this also for the kpi charts that means this structure that is configured could be used here in the kpi charts first to for instance, change the level, what you can see here. Currently, it's the level of the artifacts, but you can also switch to the level of components. So here you would see some functional groups, means the artifacts are grouped according to their functions, like control or detection. And as you could see, already the main visualization uh, has been adapted then uh, according to what you have selected here, so that you can see the aggregated values for the um, groups then. We could also switch uh, to, to the group level, to the team level. So here you could see then the aggregated quality per team. This is one thing. The second thing is that we also support a kind of tree structure inside the KPI chart. So you could uh, collapse uh, or um, uh, inflate this list. And this could be easily used to select dedicated items from different groups and as you can see we are still on the group level now but uh, we could use uh, the menu here on the on the uh, top of the um, kpi chart to change 
um, the main visualization so that we are now have selected uh, the artifacts uh, in the main visualization, but uh, keeping the uh, structure here in the KPI chart. This makes it quite easy to keep an overview and um, yeah, to, to have also some aggregated qualities for um, components or teams, whatever you may configure here. So um, where does the artifact structure come from? Or what is a typical way to look at that? So uh, the, the artifact structure is configured in the project structure file. This is our configuration that uh, you may already know. So you can configure this in the project structure and then you load it here. Um, how you define the artifact structure is uh, completely uh, how it is, um, 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 so it, it, it is done on how your project, uh, um, on, on your project needs. So mm -hmm. if you define the structure in your project and you say if you want to structure the artifacts according to uh, uh, greater components or according to teams and departments, mm -hmm. that it, it's completely up to the customer. So, yeah, so, so that could be a typical artifact structure either by organization. So you have certain teams taking care of certain functions and then you um, structure your artifacts according to these teams. Or maybe you have components, as you already said, and then you say, okay, each of these components and subcomponents um, define a group or an element section here of the artifact structure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that helps you, ex especially when you have large projects and um, you want to actually have an overview here in MQC about all your data. But from time to time, you may just want to know how a certain component um, is, uh, is, is uh, working out in terms of quality. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, because you already showed um, that we have this, uh, we may have a large overview here of KPI tiles um, on, on that side. And you already mentioned that um, this is a bit more convenient way than using the actual filter panel. And there also has been improvements to um, search and filtering. So it's much easier now to select a certain subset of um, KPI tiles um, in case um, you want to have a more focused view. Yeah, um, if we have a look here in the um, quality property KPI, which currently shows the, the properties that we have configured for our project, um, you still have uh, a list of quality properties on the lowest level and you maybe want to focus just on something that is related to test or even test sequences. And by just typing in here in the search field, um, uh, a string, uh, the number of KPIs shown here in the KPI chart is restricted or limited to uh, what, what you would like to see. So here you can easily then just select one or two um, of the KPIs that you have um, um, searched for. This is the search functionality. Um, the second thing is that per default, uh, MQC sorts the um, elements here according to quality so that always the worst thing is on top as you can see here. So um, uh, um, down below uh, quality properties are all have 100%. Uh, so the, the main things are here on top, but you, you may want to have another sorting for your KPIs, um, maybe in opposite direction. Then you can choose this here in this uh, dialog. So you could say, I want would like to, to um, sort a quality ascending or descending, or you could even uh, sort by the uh, alphabetical names of the quality properties. So if you really know that you would like to search for uh, something that starts with C, then uh, you have a better search possibility in, inside the KPI chart. That's also now possible. Mm -hmm. So it helps you to um, more easily find the things that you're looking for without um, scrolling and trying to figure out if it's in alphabetical order. Sometimes like you just type and you find something and then the, the order sorting helps you to see what's most important for you first. Um, according to um, whatever relevant um, hierarchy or, or um, search order or sorting order um, you want to see. Yes, exactly. 
And uh, maybe it's also important to mention that um, these possibilities here in the KPI chart, this is available on each of the quality pages. And uh, so it's available for artifact structure and quality structure, but also on the data availability page, um, we have this uh, structural levels for the data itself. So um, sorted according to data sources uh, and uh, base measures and so on. Mm -hmm. That's make it ma makes it quite easy to to keep the overview on this. Great. And um, talking about um, dealing with large projects, um, there also have been some improvements um, in the background, so to say. Um, first of all, and tool adapters, but also there has been updates uh, to the Git connection. Can you um, elaborate a little bit more of um, what happened there? Yeah, for, for the tool adapters, we especially did something for, for the code base development. So um, we have adapted our QAC a tool adapter. So the measures are now renamed, uh, for instance, to guidelines and findings so that we have uh, similar names for for our different static analysis tools. And the second thing is a completely new adapter for the RTRT um, reports uh, where we um, on one hand uh, read the measures for the test case status and on the other hand uh, we read something for the code coverage. Mm -hmm. So this is for the tool adapters. And then we also did something, and this also goes in the direction of uh, large projects. If uh, uh, all your reports uh, are stored in a, in a Git repository, for instance, um, then, uh, and your project uh, goes not over, over weeks, but maybe also over years, and you have a lot of commits, then your repository may be quite huge. So we um, have done something for uh, the monitoring uh, of the Git repository if uh, something has been changed. There is a monitoring process in MQC that tells you that uh, maybe the data must be refreshed manually or it will refresh automatically. And the second thing is that uh, now with the 5.2, we offer um, a time commit filters so that you can say, I'm not interested in uh, commits that are older than a year, but everything that starts from whatever date uh, and goes until the end of the project or until uh, today. And this can be uh, set when you're um, uh, administrating a Git connection data source and then just those commits are um, checked out and um, shown in MQC that are inside this time period. Mm -hmm. Which again makes it it uh, more performant than just having the whole repository loaded into MQC. Well, yeah, indeed. Well, um, that's quite a lot this time again for the 5.2. And um, of course, you can request your download or your evaluation copy for the MS Quality Commander via our website. So, um, Björn, I would like to thank you today for joining me here. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, what our customers say to the newest features and, of course, what's coming up in the next release as well. So um, thank you very much. Thank you, Jan. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.